where where Yahweh is talking and referring to Yahweh. <laughs> That's what we're talking but about, brother. I'm trying to respond because someone said Jesus is Lord, therefore he's Yahweh. But I'm trying to show there's a distinction. No, that's not what he said. Oh, yeah, but there you go, Sam. Hey. And, and Jude 1 and 4, both the Father and, and the Son are called Lord. Only one is called the only Lord God. And who is and that? it's not Jesus Christ. Jude is, 1 and 4. Jesus and that's Jesus. not true. You just misquoted Jude 1 4. Exactly. No, I didn't. It says denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Explain Christ. Explain to me what a Granville Sharp construction is because I'm going to school you on it's, the Greek right Randall now. Randall Sharp doesn't have nothing to do with plain yes, English. Does. Okay, can you no, open it up doesn't. That's a Trinitarian can, thing. Can you open up in the interlinear so I can work him through the Granville Sharp construction? No, can you That's open Jude yeah. 1 and 4? Yes, yeah, we're going interlinear we're going of Jude 1 and 4. Calm yourself down. We're going to go well, to you the calm yourself down, Sam. I'm talking. Okay, go to Jude 1 4, brother. Open it up because he's going to parse the Greek for us right now. Yeah. I'm going to see how much Greek he has. I don't need is. Greek, Sam. Yeah, this yeah, is plain yeah. English. Yeah. Plain open it English. Up. God lodge you before the rapture, brother. Who denied the only Lord God you, and our Greek. Lord Jesus Christ. Hold, hold yeah. on, uh, Uncle GE or JE. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to send it to Auntie. Auntie in a minute right now. <laughs> Taylor, yeah. how you doing, buddy? I came for you, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Can do. Yeah, anyway, oh, Sam, um, I, 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 I haven't I've, forgotten what the last time I was on your show. Yeah, 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 I, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm gonna send you to Okay, now, yeah, uh, parse the Greek yeah. for me right there. <clears throat> it's largest screen. He said nothing to do with the Granville Sharp instruction. Okay, no, now, it has move. nothing to do. No. I want to go to the English, Sam. I don't want the yeah. Greek, I want the English. God, logic. The Greek is right beneath. You're going up. Go down, buddy. You'll see. Are you talking to go about? The Greek the is right here. English. No. Right here, right there. I don't speak Greek. 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 I I don't speak Greek. 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 Why we can't see the English first and then you can go to the Greek? The English is right here. I can break it down. The English says, who denied the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. My friend, my friend. All right. Yeah. Now, guys, I want you to pay attention. Do you see that the definite article, K ton monon despotain? Do you see that the definite article right there? Uh, God's like you pretend you see it. I see it, man. Okay. Do you see there's only one definite article? <clears throat> and yet you have in here this particular written, because he's going by the King James. The King James is going to be a nightmare for him because there it adds the word they own. When you have the definite article before the first noun, but not before the second noun. That means both nouns, if they're singular and they're not proper names, refers to the same person. So, ke ton monon despotain, ke kiriun emon yesun Christun means that in this particular construction, it is Jesus Christ who is our only sovereign and Lord. Same. Now, when we go with the Byzantine, same. can same. I finish the point? So, go Yahweh the isn't a proper name? Uncle, Yahweh isn't a proper Uncle name? Uncle J.E., Uncle J.E. He's let let him finish the point and then respond to him, man. Yeah. Now go to the go to the Bible Gateway because the Bible Gateway goes with what we call the majority text, and there it has the word theon. You're going to see it translates it correctly. That in that passage, it's both <clears throat> Jesus is both the sovereign God and Lord. No. Open it up, World English Bible. Sam, you know when when you see the Lord, it means oh. Yahweh, right? No, that's in your uh, mirage. Open up Jude. One verse one. <laughs> it's talking about Yahweh yeah, and yeah. Jesus Christ. You can keep convincing yourself. Maybe Auntie will give you the time of day. What uh what, yeah, what translation did you say? World English Bible. World English. Yeah. What the heck is world English? Well, exactly. You out, you find it, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why yeah. you won't show why you won't show it in English so everyone can see? Yeah, we're that gonna show you in the English if you calls, stop barking. It calls both down. of them Lord yeah. in Read the same us. verse. Yeah, right here. Here's the English book here. Auntie Auntie Mima, can you uh read it for us? Yo, and to mom, I'll punch you in the mouth, Sam. Yeah, 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 yeah you can, yeah, yeah. You can take. That's why talking. your wife left you, right? Because you got a big Read mouth, Read it. Let's go, let's go. Let's keep it on the scripture. Read That's it. why your, your wife English, left you, right? Bro. You got a big mouth, Read Sam. Read it. Let's keep it on the scripture, bro. Let's keep it on the scripture. Let's go. Keep it on the scripture. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show Read in English. Read the English. That both are called the only I'm a, Lord I'm a, God. J.E., J.E. Read it, dude. Hold on, Sam. Do you see the screen, J.E.? No, I don't have my glasses on. I can't see that screen. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll read it for you, okay? We got the English on the screen, all right? No. King James Version, please. Oh, now it's King read James it, Version. Go ahead. Right. God's like reading for us. 
So it says, for there are certain men who crept in secretly, even those who were long ago written about for this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God into indecency and denying our only master, God and Lord, Jesus Christ. So how many can persons? We, can we go to the King James Version, please? How many please? persons there, uh, Avery? Why, we can't see, why you can't put the King yeah, James so now, Version up there first? So now this one person who is Master, God, and Lord Jesus Christ, right? That's no, right. that's not what it's saying. Because it's a Randall Sharp construction. That's the whole point. So this That's guy a Trinity that, thing. We, I yeah, don't believe yeah, in the yeah, Trinity. Uh, that doesn't I, I apply to the Bible. This guy, and he, hey, Taylor, I heard you were butchering the singular pronouns and the plural pronouns and pretending you knew Greek and Hebrew, Taylor. Can someone show so, yeah. you? Watch did you watch the live stream um, that we've just had? Because I literally yes, stated I that I don't. So I you just go to, if you go to talk with Amazon, well, let right? me finish. Oh, you do this all the time, Sam. If you're not here to literally chat, I may as well go if you, if you don't want to have a Unitarian yeah, here to I actually talk to you. I don't with you, man. Bye -bye. You're here for a reputation. I know you ran away from the debate last time. You now, God's not, can you open up Judges 117? Okay, there we go. Sorry. Yeah. I only did came with Now, uh, did, did he just he leave? Was, yeah, because uh, he, I've already had, if you go on my YouTube channel, I've had four discussions with him, several hours uh, long each. He's one of these guys that comes and tries to make a name for himself because he's a Unitarian heretic and wants to make a name for himself. So he's trying to use you as a platform to make a name for himself among his cult followers. Oh, you scared so him. <laughs> but it, I, I, well, I, let, me, it, let me give a shout out to this real quick. Hold on. We got a shout out, Omar. Thank you for the gift, brother. It says, God bless you uh, to Sam, Albi, and Avery. Praise our triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen, brother. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, and that, that only came here to just to uh, send them running with their tails because I don't want to intervene with their <laughs> ministries, you guys. But uh, when he was talking about singular pronouns, I think I caught him saying that there are singular pronouns used of God. Does what Was that one of his arguments? Uh, What? Singular no. pronouns used in here. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Pretend yes. you're listening, Avery, because I yes. want to now snap at you, bro. Hey, you can snap at me. I'm gonna snap back. That's right. Snap in, I'll snap you back. So I'm, oh, I'm <laughs> All right, but was but he talking yeah. about singular pronouns? Yeah, he was. Yeah, in uh, okay. in uh, go to Judges 1 17 to 19. Now, uh, use the King James here because here the King James gives you an advantage. Because I'm going to show you guys, and our, but, our, our brother here who's familiar with the Hebrew is going to be able to confirm this. This is why you got to show in the Hebrew text, singular pronouns. Verbs, participles are used for nations. Judges 1, 17, 19 mm. is an example of that. I thought it was that uh, rabbi brother right there, Matthew G, D, 2 G. Is that you or is that that's not? not that's that's not, not, that's not rabbi. That's I'm not. Follow no, I actually follow you. I, I, I like you, Sam. Thank you. You got good taste. Yeah. You won't you won't like them for long, man. Just, just stick yeah, with I'm us. Yeah, bro. It's hard to like me, man, because I've been doing this 20 years, and the older I get, the more I start hating people. <laughs> like Avery, I'm trying to hate him with a passion. You got to learn how to deal with the elderly. The older they get, the more grouchy they get. It's not. <laughs> now, if you go to Judges 1, 17, 19, it's God. For the rapture, bro, I don't want to leave Matthew behind. We are here. Are you blind? Oh, it's I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, gee. Oh, so I, oh, I, oh, I, I repent. Now, I repent. I repent. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention. This is referring to the tribes, Judah and Simeon, not the brothers, because they were long dead. But notice the singular. And Judah went with Simeon, his brother. It's not about the two tribes. Mm. And it's all singular. What his brother? It's two tribes made up of peoples. And yeah. they slew the Canaanites and the inhabitant Zephath and utterly destroyed it. And the name of the city was called Hormah. Also, Judah took Gaza with the coast thereof and es Escalon with coast thereof and Ekron with coast thereof. The Lord was with Judah. And he, singular, an entire tribe. Judah's an entire tribe. Mm -hmm. He, singular, drove out the inhabitants of the mountain, but could not drive out, drive out the inhabitants of the valley because they had chariots of iron. Now, go to Psalm 130. Psalm 130, use King James. Because here the King James does help you because it will show you singular pronouns, verbs, when referring to a whole people group. Psalm 130 and read 7 and 8. So be careful this pathetic argument that singular pronouns does not prove it's one person. Now, if you go down, now watch here. 
Psalm 137 to 8. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty his redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. It's singular. Yeah. But Israel is referring to the whole nation. Right. Okay. So why is it saying his iniquities? Yeah. I, so, I think that was something for me, Sam. Like, you know, I, ju I just started this. I just started getting into scripture within the last year. Um, and really, as I started reading the Bible more, I started to see a lot of things that I'm reading don't really match up with other doctrines or beliefs. And for me, one of the biggest revelations was that the fact that the word God is a plural, uh, yeah. correct, is Elohim. Yeah, they, they, they'll say, well, Elohim is used for singular subjects. But the point being, when they tell you singular pronouns and verbs proves God is one person, that shows they're ignorant. Right. Because it's not true that singular pronouns or verbs or participles refers to a single person. Throughout the Old Testament, entire groups of people are collectively <clears throat> referred to in the singular. Right? Let me get yep. you an article that I wrote on this. I want to bring it up for you because I got sick of this argument. It got me really upset. <laughs> now, that's because good, man. Yeah, because I got sick of it. I kept hearing this argument. And I said, you know what? I'm going to write an article to put this... Uh, Put this uh, theory to rest. So let me just get you the article, and I'll give you more than one example. So let me just find it. Uh, uh, theory to rest. So let me just get you. Yeah, so now, with that said, put Isaiah 44, verse 6. Isaiah 44. Verse 6. Yeah. It's good teaching, Sam. You're doing good, uh, man. I want to help you guys with that deep the arguments we've learned a long time ago, these are old, outdated arguments. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, Isaiah 44, 6, here we are. Yep. Is it on the screen? Yeah, now what does it say? It says, thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I'm first and the last. And now, the if last you take, if you, now, here's the thing. If you take the his as referring to Israel, there's Israel referred to in the singular again, That's his right. redeemer, right? Yeah. Okay, but now here's the trick. It's either referring to Israel's redeemer or it's referring to Jehovah's redeemer, who's Jehovah of hosts. We have two divine mm -hmm. persons. Either way, you bury the Unitarian. Yeah. Yeah. Who's trying to I get understand that what I'm saying? Here, think about it. Okay. Thus saith Jehovah, the king of Israel, and Jehovah's redeemer, Jehovah. So there's two persons speaking, Jehovah. And the one Jehovah appoints to redeem Israel, Jehovah of hosts, I am the first and the last. So either way, you either end up with an entire nation being referred to with the singular pronoun, or you have two divine persons working together as the first and the last. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. It's clear as day, man. Now, here's my article. question real quick before you move forward, Sam, because you're using the word Jehovah. Um, yeah. And, you know, God logic, you, you, you say Yahweh. Yeah. Um, why, why do you refer to Jehovah as opposed to Yahweh? Um, because the evidence shows Yahweh is a mispronunciation. Or your Jehovah, mispronunciation. Say it again? I said your mispronunciation. No, Jehovah is the anglicized way of saying what's most likely the correct pronunciation, Yehovah, Yehovah, Yehovah. Yeah. Okay. So because yeah. evidence shows strongly that the word isn't Yahweh because even in the Theophoric names you have Iliyahu, Yahu, only makes sense if you have what's called, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a three-syllable a, a three -syllable word, not a two-syllable. You don't get Yahweh from Yahu, but you do get Yahu from Yahuwah. Or when you say Yaho Shafat, Yaho Jehovah is judge. So either way, Yahweh, many people believe it's a mispronunciation, and it actually is influenced by Samaritan theology because there's support that in medieval manuscripts written by rabbis that they always knew the correct pronunciation and this is championed by Nehemiah Gordon some people don't like his research say that it's faulty but anyway he's not the only one I've listened to several people who've done extensive research in the proper pronunciation of divine name and two individuals independently from each other one Nehemiah Gordon Another, sadly, he's an Aryan cultist, but he's brilliant. He's one of the most knowledgeable Aryans in biblical languages. He's no joke. He will take you to a higher level of learning. And it's because of him, God used him in the late 90s, that forced me to go super high 
in my understanding of the Bible. So he was a blessing in disguise because right. the average Trinitarian, he will tear him to shreds. So you and this man Yahuwah has studied. Yahuwah is better. Who? Ye Ye Yahuwah or Yehovah would be more correct than yeah. Yahweh. Yeah, he pronounces it. The, the second person is, he pronounces it Yahuwah. 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 Now, Nehemiah Gordon pronounces it Yehovah because the Wah is now pronounced as a Vav in yeah, Hebrew. Wow. Today, but it yeah. wasn't that way, right? But either way, the if that's the case, then the correct Anglicized form would be Jehovah. Mm. Because remember, J was a silent variant of I until the 17th century. So if you spelled it Jehovah before the 17th century, you would have pronounced it Yehovah, just like Jesus would have been pronounced Isis. But in the 17th century, they started pronouncing J as Ja separately from I. And you find it in Spanish, Jose, but it's spelled with a J. Right. Jesus, but it's spelled with a J. Right? Okay. And then now we went too far off because, you know, your question had to go far off. And, you know, if you keep it up, I'm going to get blocked God's logic. Now, you see the right. article? If you, I sent you the article in private, so if you want to open up. Yeah, I got it. Okay, now I'm going to show you examples where singular pronouns, verbs, are, participles are used of entire nations. Nations. Okay. Let me see you. Let me get here. The article, sir. You open up the Bible. Oh, there you go, sir. So I got to be a little more patient. Scroll yes, you down. do. It's a virtue. Oh, man, that's, uh, that's one of my... Uh, it's a fruit of the Spirit, Sam. Well, do you have all the fruits besides eating fruits? Look at you, man. <laughs> okay. If you enlarge it a little bit so you can scream, we need, you know, I, I, I don't have glasses. Where, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we scroll going? Down, scroll down. All right. Scroll down. You tell me when to stop. All right. So you see that right there? He came That's the first example I gave you. This is referring to two tribes. In fact, several tribes. Judges 1, 1, and 4. And it's all describing the tribes as a he and a him and as a his. Mm. Like, who shall go up? That's singular verb, but it's referring to an entire tribe. Mm. Why is it using the singular? So that's one example. Scroll down so you can see other examples I give you, right? Here, here you go again. Let Israel, that's hope. The word hope, again, singular, imperative verb. Singular. It's in, But it's a whole nation. It should, it's, it should be, let Israel, may they hope, but it's Israel, may he hope. Why is it singular? Yeah, yeah. Now, keep scrolling down. And by the way, uh, smoke and truth, if you're trying to be funny, call me Sham again, and I'm going to show you who the Sham is. Now, so you get it right there, right? In yeah. this paper, I give you examples, or this article, I should so, show, where the singular verbs, pronouns, do not point, do not point to one individual. This is a lie from the pit of hell. So that's one article, right? Now, here's another article where echad is used of entire peoples. Echad, the word echad. So put mm -hmm. that baby to rest. When they say a singular, pro so singular pronouns only proves that God is one, not one person. Right? So I gave you another article on that. So that's that's number one. Number two, he mentioned Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. Can you open up the interlinear? And I, again, he's he was correct in this. We do not make a case out of whether the verbs or pronouns are masculine or feminine or neuter right the pronouns whether they're masculine feminine or, or neuter we don't care about that but he kept saying isaiah 55 10 to 11 it's an it 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 okay we'll open up isaiah 55 10 to 11 you got to open up i think the entire chapter and then i'll let you go with this okay because i'm gonna go live after you what you talking about willis <laughs> Okay, so we got it now, Isaiah 55. Yeah. Now go to 10. Okay. Remember, I don't wear glasses. You're going to have to enlarge it. Yeah, give me a second. All right. All right, Uncle. How's this? Okay, uh, well, yeah, when you get to 10. Okay, me, so now, go, go, go to the word, uh, word. The word, word? Okay. Oh, yeah, you want to find the word, the devar. It should be devar. Okay, now keep going. Yeah, X that out, that monster in the way. It's going to go there, yeah? So we're, and then go to 11. It's going to go to 11. I want okay. you to see something. Keep going. No, you're there. Oh, you didn't go there. Oh, I thought you had it all up because you had that. Okay. Devar, okay. The devar, the word that goes forward from my mouth. Okay. Do you see where it says, Yasu? It shall return? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not it. It's masculine. 
he shall not return to me empty. Mm. You see, it says it's a cal stem, imperfect, third person masculine singular. Yep, yep third person masculine. Well, he's going to play that game. Einstein over here, he just proved the word is a male person because it says he, the word, shall not return empty to me. Right. Oh, interesting. And this is why be careful of people who pretend to know languages they don't. They're mm -hmm. trying to intimidate you. Taylor is a joke. He doesn't know languages. He's trying to make a reputation for himself. So people who look at him as a Bible scholar because he gets no attention. Mm -hmm. Go to my YouTube channel. I did like four debates. Each session, maybe two hours. The guy is dumb as a stump. He's one of those guys that you don't deal with. No, honestly, you guys think I'm joking. Take Matthew 7, 6 seriously. It says the Lord calls you to make a discernment, a judgment call when not to waste time with people anymore. Mm -hmm. Matthew 7, 6, do not give what is sacred to dogs or cast pulled before swine. The Lord is commanding us, be discerning, make a judgment call. When you see someone will keep trampling God's word and profane it, then you will be complicit in his sin by allowing him to mock the Lord. Have nothing to do with such a man. That's why Paul says, avoid quarrels. That's why I don't deal with these guys. When I come there, I just humiliate them, say, get out of here, dude. I don't care because you are now sinning by allowing them to trample God's word. And you're quarreling with them. Avoid them. So, but I'm coming to help you guys take it to the next level because from my mistakes, you will learn not to make them. But isn't it ironic that the very verse that this moron used, it's actually masculine. He, yeah. the word, shall not return to me. Right. Yeah. Okay, that would have been great to really, to really show him that evidence. But I guess you probably did already, and he just continued. No, to... but it's, no, it's we not get here yet. Point. Because the, uh, what did I just say? You cannot make an argument based on the gender of the nouns or pronouns. Right. But I'm just it's saying, just, if he wants to be that stupid, well, it's a he. Exactly. According he based on his, based on his logic and his argumentation, this works against him. Right. Based on the and, argument. And, and here's why it's a he because the word davar is a masculine noun. So obviously, the pronoun is going to match the gender of the noun. You see the var? Yeah. My, my, the var is a masculine noun. So you're going to say he to match the gender of the noun. I feel like it's so much easier to explain it too, just in the book of John. Like I said, guys, I'm new to this. And I just like started reading the book of John. And there's so many references to what, well, you know, God's deity. I mean, Jesus's deity um, being the word, you know, pre-incarnate becoming flesh. Um, even John five, where he says, you know, uh, he says, my father has been working until now. And then therefore, it, and then it says in verse uh, John 5, 18, therefore the Jews sought all the more to kill him because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal with yeah, God. Yeah. I think a lot yeah, of times yeah. these people misunderstand the terminology of God and um, they don't understand that, yes, Jesus is God, but Jesus is not God the father. And just the same way like God the father. Well, these guys, God. no, you're, you're being too charitable. These guys <laughs> know what we believe because we've discussed with them 10 million times. They don't care. All right. So I want to ask you a question, something that's been on my mind a lot. Um, as I read the scriptures, Jesus comes, you know, it says to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. He says to the Pharisees, you know, you don't know, you don't know my, you don't know me or my father. For if you knew my father, you would know me. Yeah. Um, really clearly pointing out that the established religion, the Jews in those time, they were not uh, worshiping the father. Uh, John 17, he says, I come that they may know the true yeah. father. Um and so my question to, to certain people that have been in the faith for a while is like, if he is saying they don't know him nor his father, yet they had an established religion, they had the synagogues, they had the sacrifices, they had the, 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 you know, the hierarchy, the Pharisees, Sadducees, then who were they worshiping? Are you asking me who they were worshiping? Yeah, I'm, I mean, it was a question I present that I feel like. No, that Jesus, they when Jesus confronted them and their rejection of Jesus. That's what showed they didn't really know the God they thought they worshipped. So they had the Old Testament, and they thought they knew the God of the Old Testament. But their rejection of Jesus showed they didn't know God as they thought. So if you ask them, who's the God you're worshipping? The God of the Old Testament. Well, if you're worshipping that God and you understood his will, then it would bring you to Jesus. But instead, your reading of that <clears throat> scripture... You're reading it in such a way that it blinded you to the reality of who God is. Because to know God <clears throat> as he's revealed himself in scripture will inevitably be, inevitably bring you to Jesus Christ. So, so Jesus is going, isn't that, what are you saying? No, because I, I feel like the point is if they weren't worshiping God, then they had to be worshiping the devil. The why, why don't you tell me what you want to hear so I can repeat it back to you. 
No, uh, just clearly, were they if they weren't worshiping God, then they well, had. So you to didn't get it, Matthew. See, we're going to end up in a debate. I'm explaining to you, but you're telling me what you feel like. So I just want to see what's your opinion, so I can just repeat your opinion to yourself, because I guess you just want to hear yourself. So what do you want me to tell you? Who were they worshiping? You saying they yeah. they, they whoever were, you think they're worshiping. So what do you think they're worshiping? Uh, they were they were um, uh, just, uh, kind of. Yeah, that's what deceived, I thought. Deceived exactly. by the Good job, Matthew. Omar's here. You got a Muslim guest. So I'll be in the background. Let me know. I, you don't need me now. You can school the Muslims. So I'll be in the background, right? It's gone. Get on out of here, Sam. Samuel. 